Hey leaders, I want to talk to you about something that's been on my mind and that is onboarding, bringing a new employee into your team. You know, I've written and, and done videos on this before, but I just felt the need to get this one back out. Um, very, very important, critically important, bringing a new member onto your team. Let me give you a couple of pointers. First is ownership. You know, ownership to me in an organization is everything. If it's a process, if it's a task, uh, if it's a, a, you know, a product or a, a function, whatever it is, a meeting, somebody in your team owns that. That means they see it through from start to finish and they have success and failure in their hands. They own that. It's that one person you go to. It's the same thing with bringing somebody on board. It's called sponsorship. The second you decide to hire somebody, your next action, your very next action ought to be, and your sponsor is, and then you connect that new employee, that new person to their sponsor, whose task is to make them feel welcomed and to help decrease the angst and worry and nervousness that exists inside of an, a brand new employee. Just like you felt when you started a job, you know, previously, all that you were feeling. This, this person is feeling the same. And if you can put yourself in their shoes, it's enormously important. Sponsorship. So let me describe maybe what the day one looks like to give you some tips on how you get this right. Hey, Jim or Mary, show up at 10 a.m. No need to be here when the door is open. Let us get our feet wet and get ready for you. And I will meet you at the door when you show up and do that. And they're there at 10 and you walk them in. And the entire team is standing by in the hallway or the conference room or you take them office to office you know, to meet everybody and make them feel welcome. And then you walk them over to their desk. That's right, their desk, where they're going to sit, their space in the, on the team, a place you have carved out for them. You know, don't be, re, don't be inventing this as they show up. Where are they going to be? You'd be amazed at how many organizations get this wrong or just overlook it completely. And then give them the resources. They got a computer. They got somebody standing by to get their emails set up and all the contacts that they need. Everything they need to function in it or where do they print? Where's the kitchen? Everything and walk them through everything because they don't know anything. Help them be comfortable. And then you take them out to lunch, give them an easy schedule that first day. Listen, this is the effect that you want to achieve when they go home at night. This is most important. If you take one thing away from this video, it's this. Jim or Mary gets home that night and says to their significant other, oh my God, what an amazing first day. This company put their arms around me. They made me feel included. They made me feel welcome uh, like I've never felt before. And I'm just amazed at how, uh, how great this day one was for me and this experience. Absolutely incredible. You know, when your significant other ought to say something like this, yeah, I'm glad you had that day. You know what? Your boss called me and, you know, thanked me for allowing you to work on their team and be a part of their team. And offered his help and wants to connect me to the company and keep me informed of, of what's going on. Think about the power of that effect that you could have on a person now and how hard they're going to work for you and how dedicated and loyal they're going to be from day one. Really, really important. You want some more on this topic? I write about it in the beginning of this book. It's personal, not personnel, leadership lessons for the battlefield and the boardroom. Visit my website, robcampbellleadership.com for more on this very, very important topic, and that is bringing a person, a real person, onto your team. Make it personal.